Ma, let me tell you. This is this is public announcement. Nikisha za alafu nione uze unaingia. I will go kunyonywa mafuta ya tumbo. My waist will be like hmm. like mm -hmm. Second, my buttocks I won't do it. So I won't do that. I will just nyonya there here. Alafu nikimaliza kunyonya, kunyonyesha I will do the matiti tusimama. More than you are 15 kids. Awa watoto ambao utakuwa umelewa kwa 15 years. Mi yangu tasimama. <laughs> Never on this earth. Yeah. Nitalala kwa bed sitter, mm. nitumie kigas changu, mm. na nikule sima sukuma na siku ipi. Ipite. So if you are there outside and you feel the pressure or the need to, so welcome back to our channel. We do have Vicky Vikina, JD Show, Nemo Arts, and Freddy Kenya. And of course, to go happen now, Mommy Francie. How are you, Mommy? How are you doing? I'm looking successful. Mommy, Tango in Nairobi, Luku una Figanga. My friend, Apo kwa Luku Mwanzo. Woke in Yambevi on a scapu jam, na chimka. Because mna nijua. My friend, Nairobi is a struggle. Mm -hmm. Nairobi ni pressure. Yes. And it is getting to me. Talking about Nairobi being pressure, mm -hmm. Mami, umeka hapa. Nairobi kwa jebete so far so good. I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. Ha, na I embrace. Mm -hmm. Tujuu kama yu ina miembrace. Okay. Tutajua mbele mbele. Challenges maybe zanyoko nayo, ama ku... The things that you find new in Nairobi that you are not used to back in Mombasa. Luku ni moto. Luku ni kupigia kila siku. Iyo ni kituniu kwangu. And another thing, uh, Baridi, mm -hmm. the weather, of course. Okay. Yeah. Apart from that, every other challenges na zena ni dogo ndogo tu. Ivo, yeah, and I'll manage. Oh, wow, that's nice. Talking about your new work, uh, being a radio presenter, how is it? Like, inendele aje? For now, let me just say no comments and I thank God. Maybe you can encourage people in Angalia, they want to be radio presenters in future, nini? Yani, just be you, do you, and um, be focused. Mm. That's all I can tell them. Maybe just to know your background uh, when it came to career wise. Did you do media back then? Never. Mm -hmm. Now, when you know, I'll call Shanga. Mommy, fancy maybe Ali land, Ali land, AJ, uh, when it came to the radio job. Ni God. Ni God. Ni God too. Ah, ni God. Ni tuta ni wambi ni. Mhm. It was just God. Okay, moving on. Uh, our Mbaba. How is our Mbaba back in Mombasa? Ah, he's good. Mm -hmm. He's holding on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is he planning maybe to come to Nairobi? Maybe are you guys planning to move back to Nairobi? Maybe. Ah, yo, that's between us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not planning to Kuja. We don't know. We don't know if we are planning or we are not planning. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, as a content creator, maybe we'd love to know your future when it comes to your brand, Sasa, because right now, how una fans Mombasa peke Nairobi na kila mahali in the country. Now, what's your future when it comes to Mami France as a brand? Hmm. To be a billionaire. That's my future. That's your future, Pekiake. Here, no future, but me now. I'm Billy. Go on, get less. Go on, get less. Camera. Oh, sorry. Okay, pole. Sorry. Ni mesema future yangu. I want to be a billionaire. You want to be a billionaire. That is what is keeping you going. Yeah, that is what is pushing me. Niki kumuka hizo zero zenye zinafata. I work even harder. And talking about Pia being a content creator, akwazi kosa kwa na haters online when you are not here. How do you manage? Or how do you cope with these people when you are occupying the camera in France as a brand? Me, I fight them. Leo kesho na ata milele, tuta pigana tu. Weo ukiona ukongumi, mimi nitaleta mateke, na tusonge mele. Na ambao wana kupenda? Ah, na wapenda back. If you give me love, I give love back. Then a whole lot of love. If you give me kindness, ah, the kind of kindness I can offer, it's not measurable. And Mami Francis, it's known a couple, Suku Inje, Akina Kabi, I mean, sorry, Akina Diana, Mami Tuambia Rusi, Siju Nilini. Sisi, tunangoja kuja ya Mbaba na Mami Francis, Nilini Tuambia. Seven years from now. Wait, Mbona? Seven years. Amdo tupatia pressure. Amam tuchangia tufanya leo. Yeah. Rurashua litosha. Rurashua ijatosha, but tunuambia seven years. But kama muna araka, 
mchango inakubalika mtengeneze komiti mkuje mtuambie uh, komiti ndo hii hapa mamifrazi tumekulia gown suit ya baba ndo hii church mtaenda ndo hii hata sasa hivi tunafanya hiyo harusi at your cost ni pressure wasiwapatie ndio okay moving on eh, tungependa kujua mamifrazi angependa ku work with which public figure maybe mwenye umemuona um, I cannot mention but I'm uh, I'll say this as long as it's for a good cause I'm good. Talking about cloud chasing, mwenge hii Nairobi na kuna vipindi mingi. As a brand mbona haujaingia kwa hiyo maybe category ya watu ambao na cloud chasing in order to remain relevant. I'm the cloud itself. Mimi ndo cloud, why should I chase it? So cloud ina nifuata yenyewe. <laughs> Apart from being a content creator, na unanga TikTok you are doing business. What motivated you to join that side because na unanga unauza vitu you are really doing good uh, you, are, you are doing well when it comes to the business side Hey mama yangu maskini ha! Poverty. I come from a very humble background quite too mm. we we know that rich and I cannot say we were not that poor, poor but for my situation yeah. yani I don't ever wanna see that life ever again mm-hmm. so i fight it with mm-hmm. all the energy that i have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ah okay okay that's nice and also pale kwa mtandao mm-hmm. uh, there are sometimes people are say eh hey, mami franci ni kama amekalia mbaba wetu mbona useme watu wanasema mbona useme wewe si mimi ni ah, comment section wewe unasoma kitu ni watu wanasema most of them love you uh-huh. but kuna wale waezi kosa tatizo okay so nasema uh, kama mimi nimekalia mbaba wewe osha kitimbao kalie wako tufanane as simple as that mm-hmm. any other questions about today's event yes. what have you learned and what have you enjoyed hmm. ya kwanza i've enjoyed don't judge me food but of course <laughs> food mm. alafu what i've learned the most is mm. contracts are very important yes. second having a lawyer by your side mm. it's very important sacrifice yes so kilini ramba ones hebu tell us more kilini ramba ones uh, kwa social media at that time i had no lawyer i had no team nilikuwa tu mimi huyu na push to biashara so mm. after that i went and got myself lawyers and uh, someone to one two people that no match yeah. um uh, and then i give i think i'm at a good space mm-hmm. and from what i've heard here yeah you need lawyer at, you need lawyer a lawyer and you need someone to give you direction even though it's not someone mwenye ana more knowledge but like a third eye yeah. kuona nje ya chenye we unaona yeah. and another thing I've, i've learned is that about finance that's one thing i've learned a lot i cannot mention everything mm. but the best part i've learned respect money and it will respect you back oh wow that's mm-hmm. nice okay mommy is francis yeah. speaking about respect we found out that they mommy francis Mommy Francis. Thank you. Let's continue. Okay. <laughs> Speaking about respect, <laughs> uh-huh. uh, we find out that uh, one of the people who has organized this Zineja yeah. Zinaji point, yes. uh, she walks out of an interview because she was not respected as a brand. Yes. Maybe what can you say? Uh same energy applies. The feeling is mutual. This is if you don't respect me, like this I will walk out. Mimi ningezi kwenda. Hapa. Tungepambana. So you're telling us you could do the same thing. I would not have walked out but mm. I would have ninge um, mpasha. We different. You know we different. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, she saw it was okay mm. to go. Mm. Mimi nitakupasha tu na tuendelee. Oh, but you can say it's good for people to respect each other's yeah, brand. Yeah, it's it's okay to respect each other's brand. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, okay, 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 that's nice. What's keep moving in the industry? Ha. Huh. What keeps me moving um, my courage my courage and uh, another thing I am me I am me that keeps me moving because if uh, I did if I was not myself by right now ningekuwa nimechoka nimetumia energy mingi to be someone I'm not you understand so but since I'm me and the courage that I have I will move on tomorrow 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 and tomorrow wow. yeah be you the world will adjust just be you the world will adjust useme oh mimi niko na kelele hiyo kelele dunia itaitaka at some point useme oh mimi ni kierere hiyo kierere yako at some point dunia itaitaka yeah
Mami Francie, yes. you're among the first TikTokers to start selling things online, yes. right? How does that make you feel now that everyone has followed your trend? It makes me feel so marvelous. Mwanzo nikiona wanawake, my blood does... Because I'm like, hawakai tena nyumbani wangoje. Hawakai tena kuomba. Hawakai tena like um, begging, oh I don't have nina nini. But they have taken the initiative. Hameona nimefanya na meona itampaidisha. Yes. Hey, that thing makes me happy. Ninge sanane za usiku nione yeah. mdema na piga wera. I'm like... Oh girl, you do you. Yes. Yeah. And how is the business in TikTok? Is it doing good? Uh, I'll say uh me my business has grown so much because of TikTok. I will not hide that from anyone. Uko na ile kiatu unauza uko anything hata ni kama tissue paper hivi unauza. Post it on TikTok usichoke. Unaona hata mimi leo I have million followers but I still post my business. It will not pick today. But let me tell you the day it will pick. Ah you will enjoy the fruits. As a content creator, yeah. As a content creator, what yeah. can you say about the the issue we are as yet? We have a lot of jumbo and everything. Do you feel like uh, content creators should be respected? I'm a man. I was right. What's your take? Okay. So everyone has their own opinion. No, no, me as a content creator, I have my own opinion. Sure. You as a journalist, you have your own opinion. Sure. Unailewa? So, ukiniita, and we have an agreement between me and you. Don't you think it will be bad for you to go against the agreement that we had made before starting the show? Ningia kwa show yako ni kwambe, please don't talk about Mbaba. You go ahead and ask me, ask me about Mbaba. That is, you went against the agreement and that I feel I was not respected at that moment. Yes. So it is just natural as a human being, apart from being a content creator, you just feel disrespected if one human does not go, one human goes against what you two people agreed on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah as for her, she did the right thing walking away. Tungepashana. Unaona people are different. Kuna yule mwenye atanyamaza, yeah. atanyamaza, aseme okay, acha ipite. Kuna yule kama Azia atatembea aende. Sure. Na kuna mimi, eh, mudomo tu ni mali yangu nilipewa na Mungu. Kila mtu atumie yake. <laughs> Uh, maybe mami Fra mami francie uh, some people think that you use the mkorogo thing maybe what can you tell them the bleaching agent but of course i use not to me mkorogo leo kesho na hata milele because there is no coming back yeah once you start mkorogo till that do you part so maybe what motivated you like uh ukupendele skin la kala yako ya kwanza kwa mwa ni tumia mkorogo no ikianza ikianza i wanted something to nilikuwa nafanya kazi sokoni mm -hmm. so i wanted something to um toa ile inaitwa the sunburn and yes, another thing yes. i have childhood marks nice. uh, i never had a good childhood growing back the back so i'm uh, not back uh, marks okay. Kaku pigwa and so, so I wanted to get rid of them, get rid of the you know what I memories and all that. So in the process of doing that, nika haribika. Yes. No na. I just wanted a solution, but it went worse. I got stretch marks and yazi ya waisha paka leo kwa migu kwa mikono and it was worse. So Mbaba found me a Nigerian when yana tineza mafuta blah 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 and the rest is history. So when I got to a better point with my skin, people started asking. Unapaka nini? Unapaka. Oh, I saw a business opportunity. I took it. And say what motivates me to continue doing Mkorogo? It's money. So people are out here wana pinga hii business ya Mkorogo. So are you a testimony that indeed Mkorogo works? Mkorogo works if it is used correctly. Just know when your skin needs breathe, to breathe. Just know when you are supposed to continue. People uh, don't use it correctly. Kuna watu wengine wana overuse. Unaweza kutana na msichana kikufanyia hivi ako na green veins kila mahali. They are white. Their skin is thin. Unaona mimi? Nilisema na kaka mkorogo kama tamu za shule. 3 months I apply, 3 months na rest, 3 months na rudi. Uelewa? So I let my skin rejuvenate. Hiyo point ndio watu wengi hawana. As much as tunakatazwa mkorogo, yeah, it's bad when it is overused. I see. Yeah. Maybe what again would you love to change in your body apart from your skin color? Ha, nikisha za mama. Let me tell you. This is this is public announcement. Nikisha za alafu nione uzee unaingia. I will go kunyonywa mafuta ya tumbo. 
my waist will be like mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. second my buttocks i won't do it so I won't do that. Yeah. I will just nyonya there here. Yeah. Yeah. I love Niki Maleza Kunyonya yeah. Kunyonyesha. Yeah. I will do the matiti to simama. More than your fifteen kids. Our yeah. tutu ambao to come lea for fifteen years. Me and to simama more than them. Uh -huh. And after second, if I get old, that's why I'm looking for the money right now. My friend Boo talks. Mimi na Mimi na Jennifer Lopez. Papa. Siezi kubali uze wakati you have money na inaweza kusaidia. Ah, Jennifer Lopez mimi. Yeah, hapo 50. <laughs> na nakaa hivyo mimi mm. you just need you will see. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. And moving on to Kimalizia Mami Francie. Uh, people don't understand that celebrities like you mnanzanga from chini mkipanda juu. Yeah. Umekuja Nairobi and I'm seeing uko unashikwa bed sitter. Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, how how is it na mimi bado nakuchukuliaje? What do you mean? How is it? Because of course, to Najwa Mombasa, mm -hmm. you have a kind of a bigger house, yes. right? But right now, we could join Nairobi, we may get Mandogo. Maybe just to encourage them, mm -hmm. talk to them. Okay, mfuko yangu si yako, and your expectations ichukue upatia watu wakwenu. Mimi si wakwenu. So your expectation yako, mami Francis, apa ikuishi ndani ya bedsita. Take it and give it to your people. Cheers. Sawa. Once you are, you are done with that, then Rudy kwa maisha ako jiangalie. As for me, I will live by my means. Yeah. Mombasa, I have a two-bedroom house. Yeah. How? Yani, change abruptly. What makes you think that I have the money to rent another bigger house? What makes you think that? So, I should struggle just because a follower. I need to impress my follower. I'm, I'm not going to struggle because of you, my friend. <laughs> Never on this earth. Nitalala kwa bedsita, nitumie kigas changu, na nikule sima skuma na siku ipi? Ipite. So if you are there outside and you feel the pressure or the need to live um, kwa standard zawatu, you are doing it all wrong and it will cost you someday he, um an expensive life equals to uh expensive uh it's not what you're expensive spending so unaona so it's expenses at one time they will bulk on you now what was it a bulk on you sisi sisi fans wako tutakuja kukucheka wewe ah ameanguka instead of taking you back to your life yeah. so live as per your means ishi kwa means ya mpuko wako usiishi kwa means ya mpuko wa fanu wako mwenye mwenye anakana mitungi and full stop mepata kusikia hiyo is there another question guys that has been it with mami franci most of you have been able to see her on tiktok mami franci you come jini doing a good job and maybe leave them your social media handles for those who don't know mami franci kila maali m u double m i e f r a n c i e and it's mami mami franci mama franci pelekea watu wakwenye <laughs> Guys, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Till next time, bye-bye.